Hey my loves, it's that time of the year when we start thinking of the coming year and I am so glad to say goodbye to 2020. I know many of you have been waiting for this video to introduce the new baby. While the younger YouTubers are having actual babies, but for me, this is my baby, my pride and my joy. I am so excited to be sharing with you the whole management planner 2021 and my hope is that this planner becomes your personal assistant so you can be the homemaker you aspire to be. Now, over the past few months, we have conducted a few surveys and I thank everyone who has responded and found that our users were loving the 2020 planner. So we took all your feedback to heart while designing next year's planner. And we wanted to add even more value for all of you. And we have. We have probably cut down the number of binders and planners that you need to hopefully just this one. Now, so all that said, let's get straight into the planner. Similarly to 2020, the planner comes in both A4 and A5 paper sizes. It's a soft copy digital download, which allows you to print it. So you have the option of printing in black and white or in color. Print at home as you need or get it professionally printed and bound. And this gives you so many options to get the look that you want for next year. If you choose to print in black and white, then you can actually use these colored pens with different colors to indicate different categories of the tasks. I personally use the A5 because it is easy to carry around in my current planner, which I have shown you before. But the A4 is excellent as the font is bigger or if you need larger spacing between lines for large handwriting or even if you have weak eyesight. All right, so right in the front, we have the planner cover page. And behind that, that is our copyright and ownership of design and graphics clearly mentioned. Like last year, I have my author's note sharing with you my thoughts of what I was thinking while creating this planner. Now, again, like last year, I have created a using this planner page, which helps you understand the general layout and how to get the most of the planner. The purpose of each column, each section is explained. I will be explaining this in depth in the video as well, so you can see for yourself how it works. Now we have a column here for your legend. I created this bullet journal style symbols for my own use, but I will be uploading a page on my site with this legend and a page full of symbols for you, which you can have either print out on regular paper or on sticker paper, so you're going to have these little stickers that you can stick all over your planner. You can, of course, create your own or just draw using these as the sample. And it's all about what works for you. The Ravina at Home management system has two key elements. One is the zoning system I have used in the 2020 version, which continues into 2021. And the other is the pyramid of cleaning. Now, this page is the glossary page, and this introduces the Ravina at Home Pyramid of Cleaning. Now, we had a glossary as well last year, and we touched a little bit on the intensity of cleaning. But the word cleaning is just a general umbrella term that can mean a number of different actual tasks. By using the Pyramid of Cleaning, however, you will find that the different words represent different levels or different intensities of cleaning. The expectation of keeping up with your tasks is broken down for easy reference. Just knowing how much is expected of you makes the tasks so much less daunting or like, as I would say, so much less exasperating. Many of you have been requesting I do a decluttering workshop. So I'll be giving you an in-depth explanation on this system in a separate video of that series. Behind the glossary, we have this double page spread of all our zones. So there is something old and something new here as well. As before, the daily tasks suggested are already there, leaving a few lines for you to add your own daily chores to. While maintaining the zoning system, we have actually tweaked it a little to make it more universal in terms of global homemaking. You can call it zones or sections or anything, but zoning just means to subdivide your home into parts. So what we have here is zone one, my favorite zone, because this is the food zone. The kitchen, the pantry, and the dining room are some of my favorite spaces. 
Zone 2 covers the open to others or guest areas, such as your entryway, living room, and your study or home office. Remember that these terms are subjective and are meant to apply to any space in your home that works for you. The study can be a place where you work, your partner works, or your kids do their homework, their homework station. Zone 3 refers to two bedrooms and the associated bathrooms in your home, while Zone 4 has two more bedrooms and bathrooms. Zone 5 covers the family areas such as laundry and the laundry room, bedding where you store your bedding, linen, and of course the family's hub, the family room. Last year, Zone 6 was left blank for you to fill in any extra rooms you might have and has been defined more clearly this year. I got many questions asking for suggestions for Zone 6, so I thought we should break it down a little further. Now, in this planner, Zone 6 has it with outdoor and storage spaces, such as your garden, the shed, the garage, utility spaces, as well as a mention to add in all other rooms not covered by the earlier mentioned zones. So now we have your entire home covered. Something new we have added alongside the zoning is delegation. I think it is important that we remember that we do not need to do everything on our own. We must remember to involve our family members and to get the help, their input ideas, and leave certain rooms, especially their own, to them to manage. So this page gives you the space you need to delegate daily chores to each member of your household. One new addition that we have is the monthly spread for each month of the year. I personally like using a monthly view for an overall picture of the activities in a month. There is also a little spot here for the focus zone of the month. The zone that you can work on or give some extra attention to if time and health permit. I felt that having it would also be great for all of you to jot down events, birthdays and activities. It gives you the opportunity to pace your activities while keeping up with household duties. To give you the additional note space and to add more content to the weekly spread, we have also moved the holidays and observation days to the monthly pages. So at least if you want to send a card or get a gift, you can do everything in good time. Now let's take a look at the weekly spread. One big change you will have noticed is that we are now using a vertical format. There were many reasons and considerations for which format to use, but wanting to add more to each day, this layout worked out perfectly for that. Priorities always come first. Um, was that kind of redundant to say? Because I mean, it is a priority and it does come first. So priorities is where you get to choose and decide on the focus of the week. Now, flipping back and forth, looking at dates and corresponding dates can be extremely inconvenient. So having this monthly calendar on every weekly spread with the current week highlighted is a great inclusion that we are continuing with. Then comes your tasks for the week. Now, these are errands and chores that you need to get done during the week, but are not date specific. There are already weekly prompts for groceries, menu planning, and updating your planner. You will note there is a little dash before each errand, and that is because some of us tend to write our date as date, date, dash, month, month, while others write it as month, month, dash, date, date. So we've kept it open for you to do it whichever way you prefer. Now, right on top, there is also some extra space now for you to write down your tasks or notes for the day. And below that, we have maintained the meal planning system, which you all loved. Now you can plan your breakfast, lunches and dinners for the week here. And this time you can see the whole week of your meals at a glance across the page to help you plan more efficiently. Personally, I love the advantage of this vertical format. And speaking of menu planning, I want to share that I have found a spectacular new method of meal planning and my family is all for this system. Menu planning has never been simpler for us. Sorry for the sidetrack and back to the planner. We have also expanded the system to include added laundry tasks. A lot of us struggle to stay on top of a never ending pile of laundry and that's a huge part of our daily household chores. 
so we really wanted to include it in this planner for you. The laundry tasks correspond with the zones and oftentimes with the cleaning as well. So this time, instead of just suggesting that you do a load of daily laundry, we have gone a step further to guide you on ensuring that you have an efficient cycle from laundry back to closet. Of course, you need to do two loads to accomplish that, then that's what you need to do, or you can just skip a day if you have less laundry. At the bottom here, we have a honeydew box. Now, this section was a super hit in the lockdown plan. So we have decided to reuse the honeydew section for this planner. I mean, we always have those things that we need some help with, usually from our partner. So jot those down in here so you don't forget to remind him the next time he's free or willing. And of calling your partner, honey, sweetly, will also get you the help you need. And you guys know I love a pop of color in the little icons that make each week special in its own way. And of course, add color to the page and hopefully to the week. This time we have used these icons to include lots of tasks for self-care. We have prompts for skincare, hair care, doing your nails and a lot more. It's important to feel good about ourselves and also to spend time with family. Those are the little things that make life worthwhile and keep our lifestyle in balance. We also give you some ideas for family fun nights and even a date night with your partner. So you remember to do something fun every week, whether it's for yourself, for you as a couple or as a family. Cherish these moments that make all the laundry dishes and cleaning that we do meaningful. And that's it. That's the sneak peek special of the Home Management Planner 2021. I really want to thank my daughter B, who designed each icon herself and was instrumental in designing the layout as well. We have, as a team, each providing their own expertise, created this planner especially for you. I do hope that you will give this planner a chance to become, as I say, the homemaker you aspire to be. This is Ravina saying be safe and happy homemaking.